Hello there. Hi. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Um, <laughs> I normally do it at the end of the month. I say normally. I've done this twice. I've been doing what I've been watching and what you might enjoy too, so you should watch it too. But I haven't been watching that much. However, I have been listening to stuff. So I thought I would do what I've been listening to and what you should check out as well video instead of watching because I've watched that much. Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah, so this is going to be a mixture of music and podcasts. So I hope that's okay. I mean, I've already filmed it, so hopefully it's okay. Let's start with the podcasts. Let's just get into it. Let's just go. So podcast. Let's do the first podcast and that would be Shagged Married Annoyed. I love Shag Married Annoyed. It's a great podcast. It's by a husband and wife, Chris Ramsey and Rosie Ramsey, and it is hilarious. I was literally just listening to it an hour ago. The episodes go up on Fridays. I'm filming this on a Friday. It's great. I love it. So funny. Their accent is my favourite. They are kind of Geordie, Newcastle if you don't know. There you go. They are just a funny duo. Chris is a comedian. And I've seen him a lot on TV on different game shows and I think his own stuff as well, potentially on TV. Can't remember. Really funny though. Already knew who he was before the podcast. And then I started following his wife, Rosie Ramsey, on Instagram and she's done like performing and singing and all that. And now she does Instagram and now this podcast as well. And they are just both really funny people and they know how to have a laugh, they know how to take the piss um, and it's great. It's just a married couple taking the piss out of each other and out of other people, kind of. Um, and it's great fun. It's They tell, they read um, their viewers comments and, not comments, questions and read them out and answer them. Uh, they talk about their beefs that they have with each other for the week and they just tell funny stories and they get questions from other celebrities and they answer them too. That's kind of like the gist of their podcast but it's really funny and I love it. It's great. It's great. Moving swiftly on, we'll do an album now. So one of the albums I've been listening to a lot last month specifically is Newsies. Now I found Newsies earlier in the year, fell in love, Loved it. It's great. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. I love a musical so I'm sorry most of these albums are going to be musicals because I just love musicals with all of my heart and soul. And yeah, Newsies is no exception. Uh, I didn't know about the original 1994 with Christian Bale. I didn't know about that movie. Uh, I love Disney so I'm a bit appalled that I didn't know about this movie but it's quite a cult classic. And I don't think it got received very well because it's so hard to find the movie. Like, you can't get it. You can't get it on DVD or video in the UK. You have to illegally pirate it. And it's so hard. Like, I literally, you can watch the Broadway version on YouTube. I'll link it. Um, and you can also, I think, get it on like Amazon and stuff. So I'll link, I'll link all the various different ways you can watch it down below. Um, but I've been listening to the soundtrack the last month so hence why it's in this and I love it so much. I heard the, I heard the um, soundtrack before I watched the Broadway version on the Broadway version, the Broadway film DVD thing Ugh, and I love it. It's great. The soundtrack is amazing and I love that you can listen to the soundtrack and know what's going on. Like it's not a soundtrack where the, like the, the songs you can't work out what the storyline is via the songs. You can 100% work out what the storyline is via these songs. If you didn't know, sorry, I'm getting really excited, so I'm just rambling. <laughs> Newsies is about the 1918, I think, 18, I want to say 1896. Could be wrong. Probably I'm wrong. Newsboy strike in America, specifically in uh, Manhattan. Uh, Sorry if I'm getting all these facts wrong by the way. It's a real life story. It's about newsboys who started a strike because they wanted better pay um, and to be treated better, which I think is fair. 
friend. It's great. It's amazing. Jeremy Jordan, who is the main lead, he plays Jack Kelly. So he's basically Christian Bale, but on Broadway. And yeah, his voice is phenomenal. I've since gone on and watched other, him singing other songs from other musicals. I think he's like currently in Waitress, or he was in Waitress on Broadway right now. And he's also in Supergirl on Amazon Prime, I believe. Yeah, he's great. His voice is amazing. He does the character so well. Um, who else? Andrew Keenan Bulger. I follow him on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram if you want. I'll link his stuff down below. He is great. He does Instagram so well. He's in it. His character, Crutchy, is amazing. I love the comedy. I love um, the new songs that are brought in for Crutchy as well, which I think is great because Crutchy just, he needed that, I think. And yeah, just everybody, actually. Oh, everybody who sings on the Broadway version is so good and yeah it's definitely a soundtrack I'd 100% recommend. The songs are upbeat, they're great, um, there's a lot of emotion in them, they're phenomenal. Check it out. Okay so we'll jump back to podcasts now. The next podcast that I've been listening to and I'm really behind uh, on this because I know it was quite a, a big thing um, and I am quite behind, but I'm on season three now, so I'm catching up is My Dad Wrote a Porno. If you haven't checked this out, do. It's funny. I think you have to be 18, oh, I don't, you don't have to be 18, but it's got adult humour in it basically. So yeah, it's got three people reading out, it's uh, James, Jamie and Anna, Anne? No, wait, wait, what's her name? This is why I brought my phone. It's a British podcast hosted by Jamie Morton, James Cooper and Alice. Alice Levine. Alice Levine is a radio show presenter. I know her the most. I don't really know the other two men that well, but I, I, well, I don't know any of them at all. But I've heard of Alice, at least she does Radio 1 radio, obviously. Um, and her show I listen to quite a lot on radio. So Alice Levine I know quite well. Each episode features Morton reading a new chapter of an amateur erotic novel titled Belinda Blinked, written by his father under the pen name Rocky Funstone. Basically, that's what it is. It's, um, was it James or Jamie? Jamie. His dad wrote a porno, so he's reading it out on a podcast with his two friends and they dissect it, they have a laugh. I'm pretty sure they wrote their own book, um, adding in stuff and like talking about it, talking about the porno. So they wrote out the porno, but then they also added their own jokes and stuff in it. So it's basically a written version of the podcast, I believe. And um, they've also taken it on tour, so you've probably already heard of it because it's mega popular and I'm really late to the game but it is hilarious. It's so good and yeah it's great. They have, uh, so they do each book, I don't know how many books there are now, I'm not sure. I'm on book three and they have also segments where they bring in the chat to other celebrities about it. Like they had an episode where they chatted to Elijah Wood which was great about it because apparently he listens and he loved it. So I, what I listened to that, that was great. It's, it's amazing. Check it out. So funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. It's funny. It's hilarious. Okay, so we should jump back to albums now. Okay, so the next album is another musical. Saws. But I love a musical. Is Be More Chill. I only recently found Be More Chill. I'll put the album cover here, probably. Yeah, I only heard this one real recently. I've been listening to it every day. Uh, my daily mixes on Spotify, if you have Spotify and you know what they are, Spotify basically curates playlists for you. They're nearly all musicals because I listen to musicals, especially right now, that much. Um, so this one always, this one has popped up and I started listening to it and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. The whole album is just really good. My favourite song is Michael in the Bathroom that um, George Salazar, I think that's his name, um, sings and it is great. I love it. It's funny. It's emotional. It's It just describes what being a teenager or like a young, a person, a young person like in their early 20s or whatever feels if they've got like I don't know, quite bad anxiety or like, not not anxiety because I mean, I think 
his character is meant to be quite an outgoing person, somebody that doesn't really care. But when you're at a party and you're kind of by yourself and you don't really know anybody and you're feeling kind of lonely, like the song sums it up so much. I mean, I've not never seen the musical at all. I'm only going by with songs, but it's just such a good song. Um, I also love. I also love the first song or the second song even, which is More Than Survive. That's a really good one. Again, that's about a kid who isn't like a popular kid in school, bit of a loser, and he just wants to get through school and just kind of survive. But he wants to do it a little bit more than just survive. He wants to be, he doesn't want to be like amazingly cool and like way popular, but he just wants to be, you know, I guess liked in a way. Um, He doesn't just want to like get through it completely hidden and unknown, I guess. Michael in the Bathroom is my favourite song by George Salazar sings that and it is so good. Check it out, you can see the songs on Spotify and also um, you can you can check out the videos that they sung um, on YouTube, I'll link some down below and also the songs on Spotify, again, link it down below, check it out, it's a really good musical, so good. <clears throat> Okay, so again, we're going to jump into music, mainly because I don't have another podcast to recommend to you. So we're going to jump into music again. This time, it's not a musical. I have to get the name up for this album because I cannot remember it. You Ruined New York City for Me by Fletcher. Fletcher is currently my favourite artist. She is amazing. Her songs are so good. She is amazing. She's funny. Her vocals are insane and she just dropped this album I guess it's got one two three five songs on it and it's amazing the whole album is all listenable like usually even if it's my favorite album of all there's usually a few songs even if I love them I will still skip them because maybe I'll listen to them too many times or I'm just they're not my f they're not my absolute favorite even though I love them this album, I listen to all the songs. I don't skip. I love every single song. So you've got, since there's only five, I'll read them out. You've got you're, um, If You're Gonna Lie, which I love. Undrunk, again, which I love. All Love, love. <laughs> About You and Strangers. I love them all. They're all so good. Oh, if there was one album on this list to go and listen to, it is this one she is so good go listen to it leave it in below as always um yeah another album surprise surprise the next album that i have for you is six it is again another musical surprise surprise and i love it i didn't think i would but i loved it it is a musical about the ex-wives of henry the eighth I want to say. I don't know. I don't know my royal history very well. The six wives of Henry VIII finally take to a night to tell their tales, remixing 500 years of her historical heartbreak into a 75 minute celebration of 21st century sisterly sass sassitude fueled by an all female band. These queens may have green sleeves, but their lipstick is rebellious red. Six is sure to be the hottest thing on the block since Anne Boleyn's night. I love this. Like they say, it is a, it is a um, six piece girl group basically so it's the ex-wives of Henry VIII who are basically turning into a girl band and each of them has their own song and then um so we're all competing to see who's going to be the lead singer of this band by telling their story and who had the worst experience with Henry VIII I believe that's the storyline again it's not one I've ever seen before I'm only going by um interviews I've seen and the album itself is so good again i have my favorite songs so i shall share them with you ex-wives first song very good no way again very very good i love that one don't lose your head love that one so those are my favorites but then you've also got a uh, heart of stone house of holbein get down all the all you want to do i don't need your love and six um, these are very very good songs, it's a very good album, it's very poppy, it's very um, electronic kind of pop and kind of what I remember kind of maybe, um, I mean there's one 
which is like very kind of I want to say like German pop maybe it's just it's, it's a good it's a good one it, again it's one of those ones that popped up in my like discover weekly playlist and Spotify and yeah I really like it I've been listening to it a lot uh, I've been like playing it lots to my boyfriend or fiance and um yeah I would recommend that one as well okay so we're almost there we're almost at the end my next album is again another musical Saws I've not actually been listening to like proper music proper music non-musical music um recently but my next one is Waitress I flip and love Waitress I've been listening to the album the Broadway soundtrack probably consistently for the past this whole year so far basically I flip and love it um I was so excited when it came to London back when I was listening to it in January and then I found it was coming to London in like April or May and I was so excited I really really wanted to go I didn't end up going I really want to see it I like it's my favorite I flip and love it um, all the songs are outstanding. If you haven't heard of Waitress before, let's give you a synopsis, if I can. Waitress is a musical with music and lyrics by Sarah Bareilles and a book by Jesse Nelson. The Little Next Star? Joel. Um, the musical is based on a 2007 film of the same name, written by Andrea Shelley. It takes the story of Jenna Hunterson, a waitress, in an abusive relationship with her husband, Earl. Um, and she basically gets pregnant, and then she has a affair, I think, or was a gynecologist. I think that's the storyline. Um, that's, all I, that's all I know. Again, never seen it. Never seen the film. Really want to see the film. Just, I don't know, to compare, I guess. But um, I really love the musical. I'll tell you my favourite songs, if I can. What's Inside is a really good one, the opening number. The Negative is also a really good number. When He Sees Me, I love. Never Ever Getting Rid of Me. That is my all-time favourite one. And also, I love you like a table. Both by the same character. Both those songs are by the same character, but I absolutely love them. They're my all-time favorite songs from the album. Um, yeah, it's great. And Jeremy Jordan was in that, so I mean, I love Newsies. So, <laughs> um, and I feel like I kind of need to mention slash want to mention another band, and then that will be it. And then I'll let you go on your merry way. And it is a puppet here. Um. Black Star Jackals and their song, maybe, the, what do you call him, the lead? Anyway, he's an old school friend of mine, um, and I, he, they have a song on Spotify called Maybe, um, and they were just in the Soundwaves competition finale down in Birmingham, and I haven't seen him in quite a few years, but that's beside the point. I am still incredibly proud of him, and still really love this song I do actually listen to it quite a lot and I think you should definitely check it out um it is a really good song it's called maybe and um, they are like what do they describe themselves as I would say like rock kind of stuff but melodically gifted powerhouse yeah the alt rock pop mm, yeah alternative rock with a bit of pop in there I guess too uh yeah I have known him since well we went to school together but I've known him properly as a friend since I was like 16 so the past 12 years or so um so I'm incredibly proud of him because I remember I used to sit in his bedroom at his mum's house with him and he used to play guitar and sing and stuff and always used to give me goose pump goose pumps no goose bumps and all of that and it just even brought me to tears every now and again not even joking yeah not even lying so yeah I am even though I don't see him as often as I used to I'm still incredibly proud of him and it's great to see a friend doing something that they should be doing and something that they're incredibly talented. I would 100% recommend going and checking out Black Jackals. Go and check them out, listen to that song. It's really, really good. They have more music on their Facebook page. Go and check that out. I'll leave all their links, as always, down below and stuff. I think I rambled about music enough. You can probably tell because I got really excited and rambly. I love music. I love it with all my passion, hence why. I put on gigs and why putting on gigs and working on gigs is like my profession I guess but yeah I just love it so that's why I rambled hope you didn't mind hope you heard some new songs or albums or whatever that you've never heard before and you'll go and check them out I'm gonna leave so many links down below go and check them all out um if you have any recommendations for music let me know hit me up because I need some more so leave recommendations down in the comments and 
I think that's about it. I think that's it. Yeah, and next month we will be back to TV shows and movies. I do actually have the next one planned out. It's specifically going to be horror and Halloween related. So make sure you come back for that. Um, I'm going to leave a little video up there. And I'm going to leave a little video up there. Go and check them out. And I'll see you next week. Bye.